<laughs> OJ Simpson. He just passed this past week. Did he or did he not do it? Let's go. Oh, dang. Mm. Wow, she right to Father's it. Dang. I mean, like, I've said this before. I think that if he didn't do it, he knew something about it. I just feel like just I don't know about one person killing two people in the time frame that they were saying that happened. To me, that just it just seemed weird to me when I heard it at first when it yeah. happened. Um, but I do feel like if he was involved some at some aspect. And he knew something about it. That's where I, I stand. So right, okay. So you can't put your finger on if OJ did it or not. But You're I just like I feel like he was involved. He was involved in some kind of way. Mm -hmm. You want to go, Missy? My opinion keeps going back and forth because I'm reading so many different conflicting articles whether yeah. he did or didn't. I mean, obviously, growing up, I thought he did it for sure. Jealous lover, yada yada. Um, <laughs> yeah. But today, the Daily Mail uh, posted a report saying that there's a witness. That places wow. that places him at the um, at the murder scene, and he waited until OJ died to like admit that he saw him. So do the you, Daily Mail reported it, so I feel like it's credible. So <laughs> so wait, I'm trying. I'm confused. So there's a person that saw OJ at the crime yeah, scene. Yeah, interesting. But he waited until OJ died to say anything. Oh yeah, he didn't. He didn't want that smoke. <laughs> and he said something about like. Um, a mob family was involved in it. Like OJ hired a mob family to murder really? Nicole and then her friend Ron. Um, but I mean, there's so many conflicting. I don't know what to believe. So I'm, I'm right at some capacity. If that's if that if you go by that person's you know um, story or whatever you know what just was released, it goes in line with what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Junior, let's go. <laughs> This is very unpopular, and it's okay. This is my opinion based off of... Say it with your chest. Say it with my chest. So <laughs> I do not believe O.J. Simpson killed uh, Nicole and, and uh, Ron Goldman. I don't believe it. Do you believe he hired somebody to kill them? No. Even if he didn't do it with his own hands? No, I don't believe that. This is... Okay. And the reason why is I've seen this uh, documentary on the detective who has been acclaimed in uh, Los Angeles. He's no longer there. He did his own research on who he believed killed O.J., uh, excuse OJ, Nicole and Ron. And he came back and said it was the son who killed them. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is he came back and said the son, I believe it's Jason is the son's name, Jason or Justin. At one point in time in their life, they were like a schizophrenic and they were stabbing people at their job, right? The son? Yes, stabbing the employee at the job. Something about like um, the timesheet, something crazy. Had a lot of issues, was uh, taking medication and stuff like that. Think about what happened. When O.J. Simpson was uh, interviewed by the police, Ron, who was fighting for his life, had, like, you know, um, the, the white blood cells or whatever on his fist from bruises of fighting for his life, right? Mm -hmm. O.J. Simpson goes to the police the next day, shirt off, and lets him examine his body and has nothing on him. Mm. How can somebody, and why would somebody, go to the police after killing two people, no attorney, no anything, and just show, yeah, I have nothing to hide and have no marks on them as a person who died, rest in peace, is fighting for their life. That's number one. Number two, he doesn't have a history of stabbing people. He has a history of abuse, but think about it. Those tapes that they were playing with years ago, at that time, OJ was already in a relationship with someone else, and, his, and so was the girl. She was already dating other people. So he doesn't really have a, a, a reason. It, there's no reason, no motive. For him to go ahead and do anything. The motive that they did say was the son, who was a chef, they were supposed to at that night have a recital, go to his restaurant to have dinner. Uh, Nicole chose not to go there. That infuriated him, and he came back and had an issue. And because of his schizophrenia, schizophrenia, he went and did what he normally does, stab people with a knife like he normally does. I believe he called his, I believe he's called his father, and OJ came possibly to the scene okay. to figure out what happened to help his son. It's either one thing. My son's going to go to jail for murder, my son, and knowing that he killed my ex-wife, or I'm going to protect my son and take the rap for it, and I know I didn't do it, and there's no physical evidence to tie me. Because you think about it, they put the blanket all over her and everything else like that. They put from, the blanket over from her. From the house. I don't know. From the house. Mm. Then he's missing DNA. Where's the DNA that he's missing from his blood? Where's that at? Mm. Then you have this racial police officer, and they only go for OJ. They don't look for anybody else. He doesn't mm. have an, uh, uh, he doesn't have a, a situation where he's stabbing people uh, with a knife. 
Well, think about it. Even when he went to Vegas, somebody else had the gun. Think about it. That's why I'm saying there's so many reports that are coming out that I'm like, did he not do it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Did he not? Like I, I everyone just, thought for attorney I just, Cochran, years. Johnny Cochran just, Davis I just, over I just, here. I just, encur- <laughs> I just encourage people to put your feelings to the side and go look at the research from what they have back in the day. A lot of things don't make sense. There's there's just one Can't thing I, I will say blood. really quickly. There's one thing, though, that, w- that when I saw it when I was younger, yeah, I was like, what you doing, brah? What you mean? The Ford Bronco speed chase. Think about Heard it. around the world. Think about it. <laughs> what How? you doing, brah? If you didn't do it, why are you running? But think about it. If he did it, why is he going so slow? Why is he not really trying to get away? I think he's making phone calls to people to figure out what do I do in this situation. Like his N- lawyers. Sit, yeah, your, yeah, like, sit your butt at home and go it, to the police. The chase is going slow. And put yourself in a position. What am I going to do? When he said, I have a gun, I'm going to kill myself. Like, what am I going to do? Is he doing this all for the fluff of I'm trying to protect my son? I, I don't know what to do. You know, right? Do I put my son in that situation? Yeah, my son killed it and then lose my son. Like, who knows? He knows his son needs right. help. His son has an anger issue. It just looked really cool. Like, just as a person yeah. watching who doesn't know the full story, yeah. right? You're watching a basketball game at the time. It was the Knicks against the Rockets. I'm a big sports they fan. They cut to the- They cut right from the NBA Finals. I've never seen this in my life. I don't think I'll ever see it again. They cut right from that and went to a speed chase, a high speed chase. <laughs> I said, what is going on? That's how big O.J. Simpson was. Right. You got you to think about it. He was. One of, the, one of the biggest stars. It's kind of like... LeBron James doing something crazy and he's on a high speed trace and we're like, what did LeBron do? It's like that. Right. So like when you see that, you're thinking automatically in your head, this man is running. And then of course you got the media that doesn't help because they're going to play into it even more. So it's going to play on your mind as well. And you're going to be sitting, you're sitting there like, why are you running? Like if you didn't do it, what are you doing? Cause you, you look really bad. Cause they're going to put it on every single yeah, yeah. media outlet. I just think that he ran because he didn't know what to do. And it wasn't even like a run. It was like a slow speed. No. And then Johnny Cochran with the attorneys, like what they put on the glove, it doesn't fit. It looks way too small, bro. If it doesn't fit, you, you must have quit. You must have quit. Like it looks way too small. <laughs> and when he said Johnny Cochran, I was watching this as well. I was watching his, um, you know, the, the whole trial. Mm-hmm. He goes, I'm Johnny Cochran. You've been watching me for this many months or whatever, he puts on a knit cap. He goes, I'm Johnny Cochran with a knit cap. O.J. Simpson with a knit cap is still O.J. Simpson. You can tell who O.J. Simpson is no matter how mm. far away he is. Like, he cannot disguise himself because he put on a knit, knit cap. cap. It's still O.J. Simpson. There's no there's no reason. Doesn't make any sense. And go ahead, Missy. I know I, I you know, went on my little tangent, my little rant. You were about to say something. I, I was. I, I completely forgot what I was going to say. But what I want to know, Junior, you had said something off air about NDAs. That he Non-disclosure children, agreement. That he made his children sign before so, he died. So, Can so, you elaborate on that? So I hear from, you know, a reputable source, uh, Flix by J, about the non-disclosure agreement. Now, the thing about it is important. Why would O.J. Simpson make his son sign a non-disclosure agreement? How, what, how does he... In family. How would he enforce that if he's gone already? Well, he's. I, I think he did that prior to prior. dying. Prior to dying, like I guess. a long time ago, or yeah. like two weeks before he died. No, I mean it could it could have been probably right after the trial. It could have been oh, anything like oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. okay. No, that's yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, think about it, man. This guy casually walked around and lived his life like nothing ever happened. I mean, he played into it. He, he, yeah, was, he, he was a bad guy but, and pl- think, played into typical, it. Typical, but think about it, like before the trial, would you look at O.J. Simpson as this is a you know a diabolical guy? Would you have ever thought about that in any kind of way? No, absolutely not. Before that time, um, I know there may be some people that may not have remembered what OJ was like before that time um, in this room. Uh, but yeah. at that time, of course not. This man was on Hertz commercials. Yeah. He was doing different um, um, football games. Yeah. He was doing yeah. movies. Yeah. So you saw him everywhere. You know, um, he was so popular. You wouldn't think anything like that. Yeah, I mean, typically, if someone is accused of a crime, they go into hiding. They don't want to be seen. They go away. He's accused of a crime, and he's right out in front of everybody. Yeah, and I think his true. comfortability right. was like, yeah, you know, you may think I did something, but I know I didn't kill her. So I'm going to live my life because I know the truth. Mm-hmm. And the truth, I think the secret is he's protecting someone. I just don't think it was him. 
Uh, there's so many theories so out you're, there. You're, I you're wish... along the lines of where I'm at. I'm on the lines of where you are, yes. I believe, I don't think he had anything to do with committing the crime. I think he knows more than anything that happened. Because look, if I if I did it, this is how I would have did it. He wrote the book. He just, he played into too many things like Missy mm. said. And somebody for me that did that does not play around like that. Mm. Yeah, I hope we find out one day. And it's funny because I was actually talking to Missy and just along her lines of what she was saying of playing into stuff. The thing that killed me too about him was yeah. why would you come out with a book? Exactly. To be controversial. To be controversial. Like, just like a lot just, of people do. And, like, and, why? And I think, I think he came out with the book because, you know, he owed the Goldmans a lot of money. Yeah. And they say he died owing like $114 million. Mm -hmm. Oof. Mm -hmm. Wow. $114 million, And the only thing that kept him was his football career because you can't touch that pension. You oh. cannot touch that money. That money that comes, they cannot collect from that. That was money that, that's why he kept living his life, living where he's lived, because it was enough money to keep, he's a Hall of Fame, enough money to pay all of his bills, and he don't have to ever have that touched. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people are going to be like, he's crazy, Junior Leto's crazy, and I, I don't care that you think I'm crazy because I did my own research, and this is my own opinion, and I think everybody should have their own opinion instead of going with what the masses say. You just made me think when they have the little speed talking, Junior Leto, the comments of Junior Leto do not blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the comments of Junior Leto do not apply <laughs> to, the, to the ideas of luminary sounds. <laughs> and that's okay. That's just my opinion. <laughs> you know, it's just my opinion. Now, I, I, I do believe uh, Bill Cosby probably did it, right? Oh, man. Probably. But you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, has not, R. Kelly more than likely did it, right? And I'm a fan of R. Kelly's music, so I, I, I'm not picking it because I want to. I'm just being... Well, you bring in something really interesting. Yeah. Because to me, everyone's different. But I can separate the person from their art. Exactly. So with O.J. Simpson, if someone comes up to me and they're like, it's funny to me because I tell people all the time, You'll watch a football game or something, and they'll be like, running records for like a, a game, a rental James Simpson. I'm like, just say it's OJ. We all, it's OJ. You don't need to like say his full name. They doing that <laughs> to because, try to disguise. Yes, yeah, to try to disguise. Arnthal, because nobody knows him as Arnthal. Yes, a, a rental. So my thing is, <laughs> That's true. was he one of the greatest running backs of all time? Absolutely. I'll never take that away from that man. Yeah. But at the same time, was he involved in some stuff? As a person, I don't know these people's personal life. Yeah. None of us do. Mm -hmm. So I try to just separate their art from their person because I don't, we don't know these people. Now, if you know these people, that's a different story. But if you just know their art and you know they play football or they're R&B singer or, or, you know, Diddy, I mean, rapper or whatever. That's, that's even another next topic. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, I don't know these people. So that's the stance I take. Yeah. But, you know, everyone's different. Yeah. Missy. What's up? <laughs> I see you thinking over there. I'm just listening to you. Oh, okay, okay, I'm listening right. to you. I don't have anything controversial. But I also to say. understand why people take that stance. Like mm -hmm. people that are like, I will never listen to R. Kelly again. I will never watch an OJ Simpson football game. I get it. Because it's it struck a chord I, I, with them. I yeah, understand. Yeah. And I, actually, let's talk about that in the, the next break. We're going to take a quick Sounds break. Sounds good. Right uh, Bust the rhymes. We'll be right back.